Hi there, it's Dr. Kevin, author of the Hypothyroid Diet. You know, one of the biggest questions that I get from people that have hypothyroidism is, do I have to stay on the thyroid medication for the rest of my life? And the answer is, maybe. And I know that's not the answer that you wanted, but I'm going to give you some steps to take to go in the right direction of reducing that medication and possibly even get off it. But the first thing you need to know is, what type of hypothyroidism do you have? Do you have Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disorder, or do you have type 1 hypothyroidism? two completely different conditions. If you have Hashimoto's, there's a lot that you can do to support your immune system to make you feel better so you can reduce the medication. Of course, you're going to want to communicate that with your doctor, but just by eating the right diet, focus on picking up the book, The Hypothyroid Diet. That's the first thing that you can do. Evaluate any vitamin or mineral deficiencies that you have. And lastly, focus on the environment and avoiding anything that interferes with thyroid hormones such as goitrogens. If you have type 1 hypothyroidism and you are on medication, you're probably benefiting from it. But if you're not, there's lots of medication options out there. There are glanulars. These are more natural forms of thyroid hormone that you can suggest to your doctor that you want to try. But what else can you do on your own? The other things that I talked about in regards to Hashimoto's, you can also do if you have type 1 hypothyroidism. Look at the environment. Really avoid things that interfere with thyroid hormone. These are heavy metals. You can test your body for heavy metals. If you have mercury in your mouth from fillings, you need to remove them. You need to or eat organic and really stay away from the pesticides and herbicides, fungicides, insecticides because they are hormone disruptors. Filtering your air, filtering your water. And lastly, very important, evaluate any vitamin or mineral deficiencies. One of the major common causes of hypothyroidism worldwide is a deficiency in iodine. And who knows? That can be you. All you need is maybe some iodine, but you have to check. Anyway, I hope this message has served you well. Hopefully you learned something and I gave you some actionable steps. Do me a favor, like this video, and then of course if you have any questions, just put them down below the video. That way I can help you a little bit further. Anyway, I'm Dr. Kevin at the Hypothyroid Diet. Until we speak again next time, I want you to eat well and be well.